The province expects a third of its citizens to be infected with COVID-19 when it reaches its peak in September. With the number of hotspots developing, it's trying to limit the infection rate. We are preparing ourselves for the worst. In terms of uh, statistical projection, that as the Northern Cape we need about 2,200 beds, we are preparing 3,000 beds uh, for ICU uh, and for emergency bed, we are preparing a much higher number. There's currently no cure or vaccine for COVID-19, but the health department preaches the wearing of cloth masks, social distancing and good hygiene to curb the spread of the coronavirus. But in many towns in the Northern Cape, this is not being done. The relaxation of lockdown levels has seen life return to normal in many areas. Many do not wear masks. I'm very concerned about it and worried about it because the most most of, of our people they are not wearing masks and they they, they are not just don't care. A lot of people don't adhere at the rules and regulations. Most of the people don't wear masks. It's okay. We understand that some of them say. They can't breathe through the masks, but we have to wear the masks. The Northern Cape Health Department says the high prevalence of COVID-19 infections in the 30 to 49 year age group could be an indication of people starting to socialise in contravention of COVID-19 regulations. Most of our communities were never in lockdown. People are still holding parties, organising parties. They are still after tears of the funerals. And it's where the infections, you know, uh, really strive because uh, the grounds are fertile. The department says the awareness campaign includes handing out free cloth face masks to the poor who can't afford it. It also wants to impress on people that their behaviour could be fatal to them and others. Ulrich Hendricks, SABC News, Kimberley.